Hello, everybody. Today, I'm going to talk about like a, a very serious topic, and that's survivor's guilt. Now, if you don't know what survivor's guilt is, it basically means like you survived a, a traumatic, tra very traumatic event um, in your life where others died and you didn't. And so this is something I suffered from growing up, you know, because I was in the hospital and I saw, you know, these kids pass away. And afterwards, I, I mean, I started to feel guilty after I left the hospital. I felt like I should have died with them. And that's how a lot of people feel when you have survivor's guilt. And it's very um, traumatic, you know, you kind of deal with things like suicide and just depression. And you really have dreams about these people and, not, well, I should say nightmares. And, and you know, it really is, it's really a traumatic event. And so you have this mindset that you should have died with everybody else. And it's a very awful feeling. It's a very, you know, like you feel a lot of self-guilt. And so one way I deal with it, honestly, is like, I kind of look at the people, the kids in the situation. And I think, well, they would have wanted me to continue living. They would have wanted to continue, they wouldn't want me to continue doing, living a life, you know, get married, have kids, all these things and experience life, you know. Unfortunately, they couldn't make it, you know, but it's something, you know, heavy on my heart, you know, something heavy on a lot of your guys' heart, too, as well, if you've been through this, you know what I'm talking about. And one thing I was just thinking about, I was like, well, I've been given an opportunity of life, and so the solution is not to take away my life and not to to dwell on it, you know. And it's still something that affects me to this day, it's still something I struggle with, but it's also something I combat and fight back and remember, you know, it's not my fault. And it's not your fault that you survived. There's nothing you can do about it. A lot of times we think we could have done something and that would change the whole outcome. But in reality, you couldn't. You know, sometimes I wish, like, oh, I could have solved cancer. I could have solved spine bit, but I could have solved all this. But in reality, that's just not the situation. And the same thing with you. So some things in life just happen and you end up making it and others don't. But that doesn't mean life stops for you like it did with them. You have to continue living on continue moving forward and then use that as a testimony to tell about others you know to really appreciate their life maybe um tell them about god tell them about whatever it is for you that kind of keeps you going like for me that helps me get through it is i really pray i'm a big person on prayer i always pray to god you know and it's something sometimes even ask for forgiveness you know god like we could have done to change it but in reality is you know there's nothing i could have done you know these kids were going to pass away it was their time and same thing with the people that you made where you made out and they did you know sometimes when it's your time it's your time there's nothing you can really do about it nobody has really control over when you pass away but while you're living you do have control over your life and that's something you always got to keep in mind when you have survivor's guilt like you made it and unfortunately you know others didn't but you have the opportunity to live for them you know to live for yourself as well you know and just continue living life you know appreciate that the gift that you've been given which is life and continue just living on, you know, and you're a survivor, but you know, you don't have to carry that guilt though. You can just be a survivor and not have a survivor's guilt. And it's something you're gonna continue struggling on with life, but it gets easier and you become stronger. If you're gonna fight, you know, suicide is not the way, you know, if you get into depression, think about some good things, you know, pray, you know, fight your way out, talk to somebody about it. Don't let it stay inside you, because the more you let it stay inside you, the the worse it gets, and the darker and the deeper the place you go to. For some of you, know what I'm talking about. And so, like when I first started experiencing, you know, I started talking to a friend, and you know, and then she just kind of really talked me out of it, and you know, I just talked to people here and there, you know, I really pray, and I, I think about a few things, you know, that are worth living for, and I just think about well, what what would they have done, you know, what they would went to college, what they had went to, you know. I found the way they got to these certain things, you know, and that's one thing I always keep in mind, you know what? I have all this opportunity that they, they you know, unfortunately don't have, so I want to take full advantage of it and just live survivor guilt free, you know, and it's, it's harder than it sounds, you know. It's just one day at a time, one step at a time, and it's something that's an ongoing struggle until eventually it becomes easier and you become stronger. But you need, must need to continue to fight and, you know, talk to somebody and you know, don't let it don't let it hold you back in life, and don't hold it in, because then that is where it becomes a big issue, where you start attempting suicide, and you start attempting all these little things, or you just hold it back in life, and you don't do anything, and life passes you by when you have a wonderful gift. So hopefully, if you're struggling with this, you know, you know, feel free just to let it out in the comment section, you know, wherever. Talk to somebody, 
you know, I don't have all the answers, you know, nobody really does, but why these things happen, but they do. And then, but the only answer I do have is that you must continue living. Thank you for watching this video. Bye.